All right. Uh, hi, I'm Chris Hartman. I'm director of the Fairness Campaign in Kentucky, and I am here this morning to chat with you about the real Bowling Green Massacre. <laughs> oh, Kellyanne, you're such a liar. <laughs> now, mind you, Kellyanne is not lying about Bowling Green. Bowling Green is actually a real and beautiful place. It's here in Kentucky, uh, and it is our largest city in the Commonwealth without a fairness ordinance, though we do have a huge and robust fairness movement here in uh, the city of Bowling Green, and we've got a gorgeous Corvette Museum. Oh, so beautiful. And for Bowling Green residents, the truth of the matter is that the real Bowling Green Massacre is this. It's that sinkhole that Andy mentioned. Devastating, frightening. Let's take a moment of silence for these brave automobiles that sacrificed themselves. We shared it on the Bowling Green Fairness page, only a couple thousand likes in general on the Bowling Green Fairness page, but you'll see we got almost 150,000 uh, views on this post. But the reality is that for Bowling Green Fairness, though we said this in jest, the real Bowling Green Massacre hashtag is fairness. Uh, and these are some of our supporters outside of City Hall because in Bowling Green, again, the largest city in our Commonwealth, third largest city in our Commonwealth, but the largest city without an LGBT anti-discrimination ordinance, we have been organizing for nearly five years, jam-packing City Hall, sometimes on an almost weekly basis, to urge the Bowling Green City Commission to even acknowledge the fact that fairness is an issue. And for nearly five years, these folks have summarily ignored us, but especially Mayor Bruce Wilkerson right here. Actually, I'll, we'll zoom in a little bit on him here. Here's his glamour shot. Oh, oh Bruce. Uh, and so Bruce has been uh, an incredible obstructionist when it comes to LGBT rights and fairness. Again, not even acknowledging the fact that we have been in the room speaking at the public comments section ad nauseum for five years. And what I love about the resilience of our Bowling Green residents is that even in the face of this obstinance, they have refused to give up. So much so that last election cycle, they organized with us to, for the first time ever, endorse city commission candidates to try to oust this obstructionist city government. And we lost, incredibly. Every one of our candidates lost, in fact. However, no one expected Slim Nash. So Slim here is the surprise fairness candidate who in the waning days of the election, I mean in the last three days before the election, came out in favor of fairness for the first time and promised that within his first 60 days in office that he was going to introduce the LGBT fairness ordinance. And so we all headed down to City Hall and there were more folks that showed up to Bowling Green City Hall for Slim's introduction of the fairness ordinance than had ever come to Bowling Green City Hall for any issue in its entire history. And guess what happened? Nothing. <laughs> because Slim is only one voice in this obstructionist government. But let me tell you how gratifying it is to get to yell shame directly to the face of the people who deserve it. And so all of these folks got to yell directly at, who is that there? Oh, that's Glamour Shot Bruce, right there. Uh, and so they got to tell Bruce to his face how shameful he was and the surprise hero of the day, of course, Slim Nash, Commissioner Nash, who now is a Bowling Green Fairness folk hero and continues to lead our movement and drive it forward, even in the face of this resolved opposition that is falling away. And I guarantee that next election cycle, it's not just gonna be Slim who we put in City Hall, but we're going to get at least another commissioner, if not another one, and hopefully get rid of, of course, Glamour Shop Bruce. So now you know, hashtag the real Bowling Green Massacre is fairness.